Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, thank you, Governor-elect Pillen and Governor Ricketts, for this opportunity to serve my neighbors, my family, and my friends in District 21. But furthermore, I'd like to thank Governor Ricketts for his steadfast commitment to conservative values these last eight years and his strong leadership. And I look forward to continuing that leadership with the Pillen administration to lower taxes, control spending, and invest in infrastructure. Just briefly about me, um, I was born and raised in Northwest Lancaster County near Raymond. I'm the grandson of a Cherry, Cherry County rancher and an Omaha meat packer. I'm the son of a small business owners that have called Northwest Lancaster County home for 30 years. And I'm also a small business owner myself that helped start and operate a small business in the height of the pandemic and know the true power of entrepreneurship and small business ownership. District 21 has been a place I've called home my entire life. It's where I grew up, it's where I went to high school, and it's where I live today. My first involvement, like Governor Leck Pillen said, was 12 years old when I knocked on doors to support my grandfather who ran for this exact same seat. For the past six years, I've had the opportunity to work closely with Speaker Hilgers, and I thank him for his mentorship and his leadership as we worked for the people of District 21. These interactions, I've come to learn their hopes, their concerns, and their dreams for Nebraska. And I plan to represent those values on day one. We have an opportunity to make transformative change in this upcoming legislative session. And I'm excited to work with a talented group of senators and staff. As a young Nebraskan, I know the challenges of attracting and retaining young talent to the state. And as a business owner, I know that the power of small business can, can change that. So I look to bring these unique perspectives to gain valuable insight to grow in Nebraska. There are a number of exciting opportunities in this coming legislative session to make an impact for the state of Nebraska. Like I said, from controlling spending, lowering taxes, and investing in broadband and roads. I believe that these policies will grow Nebraska and keep young people in the state. This session, is we're at a unique moment in our state's history, and I'm honored to serve the people of District 21 and look forward to working with my new colleagues, serving District 21, and making a positive impact on Nebraska. Thank you. Thank you. All right, well, congratulations, Bo, and thank you very much, Jim, for all your work, and look forward to having you in the legislature. I obviously won't be there for it, but uh, uh, I'll be watching. So continue to do uh, the great work that you and Speaker Hilders were doing under my administration. I know you guys be, could be fantastic. Well, folks, uh, thank you all very much for being here today. We're not going to take questions here, but if you want to take questions on other topics, we will have another opportunity at Kawasaki later this afternoon at 2 p.m. We're going to have another press conference there today for that, so please join us at 2 p.m. at Kawasaki. We're not taking questions, Paul. So we're taking them at, we're taking them at Kawasaki. So you all have a great rest of your day, and hopefully we'll see you this afternoon.